What's up guys and welcome out. This is the Momotion Luba Mini. Wait, this isn't the Mini. Let's fix this. This is the Momotion Luba Mini. Now let's check these things out. First, let's take a look at these wheels. Now this thing is all wheel drive. So each wheel has its own motor. It can spin all the way around, turn on a dime because it moves independently. It has good traction in the back. And because of the all wheel drive, this can climb slopes up to 38 degrees. So it's perfect for hilly yards and uneven grass. Up front is Momotion's Ultra Sense Vision System. This is how it navigates your yard without perimeter wires. And it can even work under trees because it can see. So if the GPS is spotty, you're good to go. Up here on top, we've got the control panel, but honestly, you're gonna do most of the setup through the app and you can manage up to 15 different zones, set schedules, no-go zones, and more. It's super intuitive. It has a cutting width of about eight inches and is electronically adjustable from your phone anywhere from two inches to four inches of cutting height. They also have another one that can go even lower. I'm super excited to try these things out. They aren't hooked up yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get these bases mounted and get it all plugged in. I have the, the other receivers mounted up over there, but I'm gonna get this all set up and ready to go and we'll see how it mows. I've kind of decided that right here where my cat house and some storage tanks are would be the best spot to put them. So we're gonna move this stuff out of the way, clean this area up and install these things. All right, now that they're both set up, the bases are in the ground, installed, and I put the wires just in this little box just because it's outside and I didn't want the electrical connections outside just getting rained on and stuff. So I also got the base stations right there plugged in, turned on, hooked up. So everything's hooked up. I've already set up that one. But basically to set them up, you just go here in the app and you find the one that you're setting up and then it walks you through the setup process. It basically just connects it to your internet, it connects it to your Bluetooth, and then gets everything set up. I might have to move my base stations a little bit. I think they might be too close to the house, so I might end up mounting those like up on the eaves up here, just so they have a clearer view of the sky. But pretty easy to set them up. All right, they're all set up. Everything's tucked away and put away and buttoned up and they're all, I had to move the bases out because it wasn't detecting where the bases were, but there's no errors currently. So even where, my, where I put my little base stations right here should be just fine. But the problem is it downpoured last night. So my grass is soaking wet. So I'm not gonna mow with them today. I'll bring you guys back tomorrow or the next day when it's a nice day that I can get these all set up and going and we'll see how well they do. All right guys, it is a great day for mowing. So let's finish getting these things set up. Okay, so first thing you gotta do is go in. I named this one side because it's gonna be mowing the side of my lawn here. So select it, click create a map, and then it gives you all the, like make sure it's set up in this specific position. And then it talks about your receiver, your RTK receiver which mine is all receivers right here. Mowers are good, no obstructions. And then it gives you this. Oh, let's get back in there. Okay, it gives you this. A little box around where your, thing, where your uh, mower's at. And you go start mapping task area. Okay, it's got to reach its destination, so we've got to drive it. Click here to leave. So it just left the charging station and you can see on the phone that it's moving. And I guess I just have to finish 
driving it to the edge of its route. So I'm actually going to start it on this side. So we'll just drive it out to the edge. And yes, there is a hose on the ground. I'm leaving a few obstacles for it because of all the videos that I've seen online of this thing, it never has it never has a video of it dealing with obstacles. So I've got a bunch of sprinklers and hoses and stuff out here, and I'm gonna see how it does. I'm thinking it can just go right over the hoses because the hose sit right down low. So we're gonna see how it does when it actually mows. So now that I'm in place, I hit start mapping area. It's reached its destination. Uh, you can do manual and just drive it yourself, or you can do auto method. Um, if you had a small enough yard that it would just mow your whole yard, you could just do the auto, ma auto mapping method and it would go around and it would map your yard. But I'm gonna do the manual and Then I just, then you just drive it. You walk behind it. Now I'm gonna drive it right next to where the other one's gonna mow. I can see its tracks in the yard because I set that one up just a minute ago. And we're gonna walk around the yard and map this thing. Okay. We have our task area completed. It's self-docking onto the charger now. And then we'll uh, start both these things up and let them go. Let them rip, see how they do. It is kind of cool to watch it just move by itself. But it'll back, it'll back right up, right into those little prongs. It knows right where the station is. Start charging. There you go, it's charging up. Okay, well, it's not fully charged. Man, my thing does not like to focus. It's at 85%, but I'm just gonna hit start here. Select the cutting height, yep. It's doing a self-check. Everything's good. This one's gonna go out and start mowing. So yes, I have a few. Why it says task pause? Maybe I bumped it. There we go. I think I bumped it. So it'll go to where it starts mowing. There it goes. Okay, it is mowing. <laughs> That's cool. It says it'll take about 13 hours to mow this, so. It doesn't go fast, but it does go. So another cool thing on here, this is FPV mode. So let's see if this will focus. You can actually watch it mow, which is pretty sweet. The mower's right there, he's just watching it go. It's got cameras on the front of it. My cat is not sure about it. It's just getting to the edge. But it did just go over this hose, and I missed it. We'll see if it goes back. It went right over the hose, no problem. I'm not sure what what path it's taking, but <laughs> it's just making sure it gets all the spots. 
And that one's out there, starting its little path. You can see the suspension as it goes over the little bumps. Doesn't seem to care about the hose, goes over that just fine. It's at a three and a half inch cut height, so should be more than enough to clear a hose. Well guys, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> Robotic lawnmowers, who would have thunk that was the thing? But uh, yeah, they're both out here mowing. I'll bring, you by, I'll bring you guys back at the end when they're all done and we'll see how the cut looks. Alright guys, it's been a couple days and I just want you to know, I get a lot of sponsorship offers and I only try to accept the ones that I think you guys might be interested in. Now I know that I don't have a whole lot of time and uh, yeah, having a mower that can mow my yard without me having to do anything is pretty nice. So what I did here is I had it mow one pass like this because my yard was kind of long and it, it didn't look super great so then I had it do another pass going this way back and forth and it looks so much better so to show you an idea of before and after this is before this is after so there's a nice line right there so my lawn was about four inches it cut like four inches off my lawn man it looks great honestly compared to this that's still kind of shaggy has a lot of dandelions and stuff uh, it looks really good so if you want to go check out Mimotion and check out their lawn mower, I will put a link down in the description below that you can go look at that. I think they're pretty awesome. So far, I'm pretty pleased, honestly. I might actually get another one because it isn't quite enough to do my entire yard. And it'd be nice if I could just have the whole yard done and uh, never have to mow again. That would be great. So if you guys wanna check them out, link in the description below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like these videos. And I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so if you made it to the end of this video, I'm going to show you the unboxing portion and show you what's kind of in the box when you first open it up. So first you get the quick start guide that tells you everything about it. And then on the back, it tells you how to set it up step by step. They did a really good job of making it very clear and simple. And they supply all of the hardware. So, inside here we have this. This is the charger for the machine. Just set everything over here on the table. <clears throat> this is the accessory kit. So the accessory kit has all of the, has like the screwdriver and a bunch of the stuff that you need to put together like ground anchors and just different things in here. That's what's in that box. <clears throat> we have this. This is what mounts the uh, receiver. So this is your RTK receiver that gets the satellite signal and it just mounts on top of this. And this little deal 
is a ground spike. So it screws onto the bottom, but basically you have a whole bunch of different options to mount it. You can mount it to the side of your house, you can mount it to the ground directly with the ground spike, or you can mount it just on a pole. So there's a whole bunch of different ways to, to mount this thing. We're gonna get all this out of the way. Right here you have your owners for the product guide, product manual. This is the little receiver, the antenna that goes on the top of this uh, GP or the RTK, yeah, the satellite receiver. Screws in right there. We have the little cover for the charging station that keeps the rain and stuff off of where, right where it's charging. So that's what that is. And then they give you some extra, these are extra blades, extra screws, and a little extra clip for just different, these are just extra pieces, so spares, that's nice. We also have the, this is the, the little camera thing that sits on top of the mower and sees it has cameras and sensors and stuff. And you can actually look through this with your phone when you're watching and when it's mowing, you can actually get a, a first person view of it mowing your yard, which is kind of cool. All right, here we just have more. This is just another extension pole and the base for mounting that GPS receiver. And then this is a little brush just to kind of brush things off and kind of clean it up a little bit after it's been rolling for a minute. And then underneath we have this, it is very well protected in this little uh, box here, but we have the actual mower just chilling here. And it is, it is fairly heavy. It's not, it's probably, I'd say about 40 pounds, 30, 40 pounds. But this is the mower. Pull this little cover off. There you go. There's your mower. Put this out of the way. And then underneath that is another piece of foam. And then you have the charging bay. So this is your charge dock where it just backs up into these little charge spots. This is where that cover goes to protect it from charging. And that is what's all in the box.